Workers of First Citizens Bank in Barbados downed tools from as early as 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning to meet with officials from the Barbados Workers' Union at Solidarity House. Union Deputy General Secretary and Director of Industrial Relations Duane Paul said the action is part of ongoing negotiations dating back to 2016 between the bank's hierarchy in Trinidad and the workers. The Barbados Workers' Union's delegation of First Citizens Bank uh, unfortunately this morning had to resort to attending a meeting here at the, the union to discuss the unfortunate situation where the bank who has been in negotiation with the union uh, on a collective agreement for the period 2013 uh, to 2018 has decided to seek to withdraw from one of the major components of that negotiate uh, from that negotiation that component relates to an agreement reach for profit sharing of the organization now the decision of the bank is not based on any real developments in Barbados but has to do mainly with policy decisions being made by first citizens parents of in Trinidad as to how we should operate now the staff have asked us to intervene on, on the matter, we have um, been discussing with the bank now for the last few weeks this, this matter as it relates to um, the bank basically negotiating in bad faith um, and to date the response from the bank has not really been forthcoming and as a result the staff have assembled here this morning at Solidarity House for us to meet to discuss the, the situation and to craft a way, way forward. It is really unfortunate that when we have um, agreements and have gentleman agreements, that people tend now not to want to honor these agreements. And if that is the way that we are going to be going forward, then Barbados has greater problems than its economic situations because we are talking about people's integrity and people's um, ability to treat and to deal with wood fairly. This agreement was reached since 2016. If the organization does indeed have a problem, the union is opening, the union is open to discussing it and trying to find a meaningful way of addressing it. But we cannot have a high-handed approach where you agree in good faith to do one thing and then you unilaterally decide that you are going to do something else and the employees must take it. The workers of Barbados are not open to be exploited by anyone, whether it's a local company, whether it's a regional company, or whether it's an international company. We at the Barbados Workers' Union shall not stand for that. When the meeting concluded just after four in the afternoon, no resolution had been met, and both parties were set to meet again at eight on Thursday morning.